So we just finished packing up. Um, we are gonna carry all our stuff down to the car and then we are ready to hit the road um, to go check out Baton Rouge. Uh, it's about an hour drive from here. We've never been there before. Um, I'm sure we're gonna find some cool places to stop and get some more work done on the way. So hit us up with any Baton Rouge tips you guys have. Hey guys, we have finally checked into our hotel in Baton Rouge. We are at the Hilton Baton Rouge Capital Center and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a room tour. I usually try to do it first off, but we've already started settling in, so excuse our mess. My favorite thing is that we have a view of the river and there are tons of windows and light in this room, which is always nice and it makes your stay a little more enjoyable. Slipper in Baton Rouge and it's our first time here. We tried going to Ruby Slipper in New Orleans last time we were here but it, the line was like two hour wait so we decided to pass on that. So we're here in Baton Rouge. May not be the same but give it a shot. We are ready to dive into our meal at the Ruby Slipper. Can you wait or what? I'm excited. We got the Costa Rican and a biscuit. That's a big biscuit. <laughs> um, I think we liked it. All done. It was delicious. Very good. Okay, so now that we've tried it, I know why the lime is out the door and it's definitely worth the wait. That was probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Highly recommend eating here. Phil is in his glory. His favorite thing is picking out local beer. <laughs> So we are really excited that we stopped by and checked out Happy's Irish Pub because there are three different rooms and it's huge and there's so much to do. You walk in the first room and it's amazing. It like really feels like a dark Irish pub, but then they have the outside beer garden and then they have like the piano bar area. So we really recommend checking it out. It, it's really cool. And now we are off to get some happy hour bites. Beautiful. for happy hour and we ordered the shrimp and grits and the indui sausage egg rolls everything looks amazing i don't know what was in this but it was the most amazing thing ever and i need to figure out how to recreate it like pepper and parmesan and salt and breadcrumbs and we put it on our bread Good stuff. So we just finished our dinner at Strubies, which we now know what it's called. What we did you it, think? We thought it was Strobes or Strubes <laughs> or something like that, but the food was phenomenal. Um, we had shrimp and grits. We had caprese salad. The wine was delicious. We did the duck and chorizo oh. egg rolls yes. and the bread with that amazing pepper parmesan. It was delicious. Yeah. It was very, very good food. 
we lucked out stumbling into this place. And we're going to come back here on Wednesday because we have charboil experience for 75 cents. Yeah, so Struby's, you may not know how to pronounce it, but the food is on point. Good morning, Wanderers. Today is our second day in Baton Rouge, and I'm gonna show you around our hotel where we'll be getting some work done before we go out and see the sights. So we are staying at the Hilton Baton Rouge Capital Center. It's very centrally located, um, right off the Mississippi. It has a very nice uh, restaurant and bar where we'll be getting some work done. I'm so excited to try some more gumbo at the Kingfish Grill Lounge in our hotel. And we decided to be a little bit healthy and get the strawberry chicken salad. We are taking a walk on the levee loop right next to the Mississippi and you can see all the riverboat casinos and barges going up and down and you can even smell the sugar cane burning across the way. So now we are headed to the Louisiana State Capitol building here in Baton Rouge. It's right there behind me and we're going to go to the 27th floor because they have an observation deck and you can look over Baton Rouge. So let's go check it out. So we just found our hotel's pool deck and it overlooks the Mississippi. There's pretty much no one out here. So I think we're gonna go get some wine and enjoy watching the sunset. So it has been an awesome day in Baton Rouge. We got some work done at the hotel this morning and we got to go sightseeing and we just caught an amazing sunset. And the day's not even over yet. We're still gonna go check out a local brewery. We are at Tin Roof Brewing. One of Phil's favorite things is checking out local beer. And so he got a flight. What'd you get? So this is a halftime hazy IPA. It's seasonal. This is the double dry hop halftime. So hopefully a little extra hoppy. This is the hazy melee. melee. AP Melee. I can't see it up there. This is the Smiling Ivan Russell Imperial South. Thank you. And then this is Chrissy's Rose. River Rose. It's a sour. Woohoo! What else so did you just get? You just got a bonus? This is the bonus because we oh. kicked the keg on this one, so it wasn't full. Nice. So, All right, well, we're about to Let's try some uh, Tin Roof Brewing in good old Baton Rouge.
What are we digging into here? Barbecue chicken nachos. They're shrimp. Shrimp nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and where are we? We're at the Chimes yes. in LSU territory. Yes, pretty cool local sports bar. And this is apparently the favorite dish of the staff. So that's how you know it's good. What happened, Chrissy? I switched purses and forgot to put my wallet in it. So now you have to pay for dinner. But it's not my work trip. I know. <laughs> but you love me, so you're gonna pay, right? <laughs> no, I'm gonna make you wash dishes. Travel tip, make sure you put your wallet in your new purse. <laughs> So right now we're in the old state capitol building. Yesterday we were in the new one. Yes, we are enjoying exploring Louisiana. This is a great museum for history buffs. Um, it's absolutely free. There's two floors to ex um, explore. There's all these different interactive exhibits. Um, I'm loving reading all the history, uh, finding out who built the roads and monuments that we're actually viewing today. So it's been a really cool visit. It's a very cool building, we recommend it. Okay, this is seriously one of the most beautiful buildings I have ever seen. Check out the stained glass. Into. I don't know, but I'm ready for some ramen. It's gonna be good. We are at Jinya Ramen Bar in Baton Rouge and we are awaiting our order. Alright, so what did you think? Your first ramen experience? I loved it. It was very flavorful. <clears throat> what was your favorite egg part? was delicious. I put some hot sauce and seasoning sauce on it and it was perfect. Um, I think that was probably my favorite part. The egg? Yeah. I was too scared to try yeah, it. Yeah, Chrissy wouldn't try it. So. <laughs> I, she's not a fan of runny yolk. Yes, I'm trying to be brave. I'm trying new things, but, but the egg the, was much. The garlic and ginger flavors and green onions and mushrooms. It was really good. Two it's thumbs good. up? Yep, two thumbs up for me. So we are at Oliver Twist. We just needed a place to stop by, have a beverage while we got some work done. And that's probably one of our favorite things about being able to travel that we can take our work anywhere with us. Um, so it's really nice to be mobile, get to see a lot of things, and get some work done too. Set up a workspace and have a drink. Subscribe for more travel tips. And check our links in the description below. Until next time, keep wandering.